we need to build a brooder box. You have seen in our previous videos, we have been keeping our baby chicks in all kind of cardboard box things. And now we actually had to take apart one of these beds. It used to be um, like a bed with these under storage drawers kind of here. It was very um, not practical actually because it was collecting a lot of dust underneath. So you can see here's where the, the actual bed was kind of on top here and uh, then the boxes here. And uh, pretty much I have here, these two here are the, what's left of the boxes. And then I also have the underneath of the boxes here. So as we're planning on making, making uh, or hatching uh, new chicks this spring soon, uh, I need to make a proper brooder. I think this is also something I can move outside um, of course, I have to think about what kind of roofing then to use, but at least in the beginning, I think this will be perfect for around 50 or so baby chicks. The measurements are, the inside measurements are around 70 centimeters by a 185. And I think that's around like 2.3 2 feet by... Let's see, I think I wrote it down here somewhere. 5.9 feet, so I think that would be, you know, standard small children's bed, kind of. So I think that will work out. Now we'll just take out here, this one board. Here is kind of, um, I want to move this board so that it will be here. So it will be flat here, then it will also make the underneath of the bed straight now it's kind of I don't know if you can make, see here yes so this board it's not focusing very well but this board I want to move it up here so it will still uh, kind of keep the bed frame together the brooder frame but then it won't stick out at the bottom as well so wish me luck I will show you the progress Sorry about the light, the evening sun is shining in through the windows and I'm trying to get the, somehow to show you, I had to come here to the window to film so that it wouldn't reflect. So, we have like two separate boxes, like from here until here and the same on the other side. And then as you can see, I found this hardware cloth outside. It was just the perfect size. I just bent the sides over like this and then because it's so very extremely sharp just put this tape around so we wouldn't cut ourselves. So that was really easy. Now what I'm going to Now what I'm going to do is also I have these these are all parts of the bed and all of the materials are, are stuff that I just found laying around and the bed was something that we had to change our daughter's bed as it was not too um, like comfortable and practical. So I'm using the bed frame to build this brooder box. Very handy. So now I just have these, um, the wood that we had from underneath the bed and I'm just going to nail them down here and then I will have like one piece of this also parts of the, also parts of the, um, bed it's really really thin but this is just going to I'm just going to use this as a lid I'm not even going to do anything with it I'm just going to put it as it is on top after I get the nails uh, there I will show you what it looks like with the actual lid in place and I did want to use the I could have just put the lid on top but I wanted to have these uh, to make it sturdier because it as said the actually this kind of this is like very, very thin. I think it's like a few millimeters only. So if I would use only that, it could easily break. And of course I have to nail down, nail down the boards so that, you know, the boards don't accidentally uh, drop down on the baby chicks and crush them. Uh, in addition, I can actually use these to, because I will have it half covered, as you can see, half covered and half with the board. 
the area where it will be covered, I will have the heat lamp and I can actually put the heat lamp kind of, I can hang things from these boards, also the food maybe here and then the heat lamp down from here. I think that will work out wonderfully. The most important thing in all of this work is that I have gotten this wonderful, wonderful hammer from my mother. Who wouldn't want to work with a hammer with flowers on it? And it's actually really good. My husband has his own, but it's this one is actually really good. And of course, very, very pretty. And let's not forget the coffee. So instead of being annoyed by the sun, I came out to see the setting sun over the mountains. And windy as usual. Windy, windy. Can you hear the sound? I have a treasure there in the box. Before I take out the treasure, I will have to fix this brooder box area here. And let's, I'll just try to get this fabric. It's like this plasticky uh, fabric. And I uh, will have this and then uh, wood shavings. So it might not be pretty, but I think it will work. So I have this box thing here above and then I'll just put the heat lamps and the food and water here. And then we'll have this uh, for ventilation. And then we'll also have, we have that one there back there that will be on top of these. So they will have like half will be open and then half will be covered. And underneath there will be the heat lamp. So now it's pretty much ready. I have here the heat lamp. I'm slightly worried it might be too low. I hope they won't be too flighty. I just turned it off so that when I put them in, they won't like fly up and burn themselves. And when they calm down, I will turn it back on again. Then we have the food. It looks like it's on the sawdust, but it's not. And then here I DIY this wonderful a nipple water uh, thing. Uh, I can find my baby chick uh, water water containers. I think they might be uh, at, with the quail. And I actually wanted to buy this uh, kind of a, like hamster water bottle, but then I realized I had some of these bottles, and then I had some nipples left there also, like this. But I think this will be excellent for them. Hope they will be happy.